of bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello, Ken. And welcome to French Hawes Bear Reviews. I'll still be Scott. I'll be Jeff tonight. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Freeze playing himself with a short... He's not... He doesn't, like, mix it up very much. No, he's got a job to do. Just keep the shit cool. He's like a security guard, pretty much. All right. Anyways. Um, <laughs> he's got a short can of beer. It's only got 12 ounces. Yeah. Um, it's they, a you know how they used to do that, right? 12 ounce cans. Back in the day, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is what uh, Woodstock Inn Brewery is doing. They're canning yeah. in 12 ounces, and I like that. You said this is their flagship beer? Yeah. The uh, pig, Pig's Ear Brown Ale? Yes. I've had it a bunch of times. and I honestly can say I don't think I've ever had this one. And I really like it. Uh, for me, as far as beers, brown ales that you can find in stores all the time, this one and Old Brown Dog by Smutty Nose are two yeah. of my go-tos when I want a brown ale. Which isn't a lot, but I do enjoy the style a lot. So um, this one's I'll twenty-five this one. IBUs, four point three percent alcohol, uh, sporting the medium-bodied, roasted and crystal malts, hearty, nutty flavor. Is that pretty accurate, you would say? Uh huh. Very accurate. Yeah. It's almost like you read that off a slightly sweet a finish. Or... No, it's hard to pour six ounces when you're used to pouring. Eight, is it? And do it evenly. But I did it pretty darn good. So, um, should we this, switch them back and forth until we get it perfect? No, no, okay. no, illegal part. Mm-hmm. This is an independent craft brewer. Um, no, so, so it, it is truly craft, craft. craft beer. I this is uh, just recently the first time I saw them canning beer. Always in bottles until just recently. So, thank you. I like to can beer. Uh, it's just easier to transport. It's easier for you to get rid it of. It is. And it keeps it fresher. If you need space, you can crush them. Yes. A lot of nice things. Have you seen, and this is kind of an off topic thing, hmm. the cans that are opening full top? Uh, I've, I've seen them on online, online but yeah. not anywhere. Yeah, me either. Interesting. Yeah. I like it. I'd be afraid to cut my lip. Yes. My lips are sensitive. So, <laughs> anyhow, this back is to the your typical brown, brown, brown. brown ale. Yeah, color, uh, very dark amber, um, little bubbles to medium, filtered, almost medium, filtered for sure. It's you know, crystal clear. I don't know how I'd feel about clarity. an unfiltered brown ale, honestly. Yeah, like when I hold it up and it looks unfiltered, I'm not sure how I'd feel. About that. I agree. In most styles, I wouldn't give a damn, but right, a brown ale. This looks nice. Reminds me of remember when the head comes right back. Used to like Newcastle a lot. Yep. So um, I only drank a few of those. Though. Right. <laughs> you just spin it and the bubbles come right back. Oh yeah. Must be pretty well carbonated. It's like a magic trick. It's got that that brown ale that roasted yeah. malt malty smell that you would malty expect. Sure. A yeah. little sweetness you can detect. Um, Kind of all what what you know, what is uh, being said is going to carry through in the flavor. Didn't smell any nutties. No nutties. <laughs> no. No, not really n- any nutties either. No. Maybe you taste the nutties. Especially not hearty nutties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Mild nutties. I almost choked. Don't do that. I almost went down the wrong tube. That was a tainted set. I didn't get a true reading. Yeah, I agreed. I thought you were just going to chug the whole thing. Yeah, this is how I remember it. It's uh, it's a brown ale. And yep. It's it's a, a, a great example of a brown ale. No tricks, no... No, it's yeah, it's straightforward. No bells brown and whistles, a brown ale. If you're looking for a brown and it's good. ale, this is this is a good one. Um, there's not really tons to say about it. I mean, it, it kind of is as advertised. Yeah, it's a good brown ale. It's a good beer. 
Um, I can always find this one at stores, uh, lots of different stores. Um, I love how the head comes back. If you drink it all, it doesn't though. Let's get fucking drinking. <laughs> so if you're a brown ale fan and you haven't tried pig's ear yet, go grab it because it, yeah. it it's good. Brown I'm ale. actually surprised I never came across this one. But I've Me never too. Seen it. Not that I've never seen it. I've never bought it. Yeah. Again, I don't necessarily go out seeking lately or over the past three years. I wonder if they've ever done like a barrel aged pig's ear. Or I'd, like to, I'd like to try it in like a, a cask or something like that. Check out your Google machine and see. Yeah. Because I know the uh, Old Brown Dog by Smutty Nose, they have a very old brown dog which is barrel aged and the alcohol is through the roof on that one. Really? Yeah, I think it's 10 and a half, 11. It's, it's like an there. imperial brown ale? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, and you know, four packs, pricey. But, as expected, because you you get more, more booze. Yeah. But if I had to slap a number on this beer, I would probably probably go. I'm gonna say three eight. Ooh, is that a three nine? Right around three eight. I'm me. not a three nine. So, um, yeah, I like it, and you know. It is good. Probably the way I was talking, you you might think I was going to go 4-2 or something like that. No. But it's good. It, it's not... Nothing about it makes me go crazy, but... Right. I just think it's a great example of a brown ale. That's how I'm going to leave it. Yep. It's, it's just a good brown ale. So Nothing more to add there. Um, 385 is our score. Um, you want to check the untapped machine and see what the... I like this thing. And you even signed it at the bottom. Yeah. I'm going to say, I'm going to throw a guess at untapped at 362 is my guess for untapped. We are 385. Um, I don't think we've done... What did you say? I'm going to 362. Um, I don't think we've done many brown nails. We've done a couple, but... What do you got? Three, four, six. Ooh, it's slower well, than I thought. Yeah. Huh. All right. So I'm not sure what to attribute that to. Maybe people yeah, don't, people don't like it. Have a taste <laughs> for brown nails or whatever. But I think that's. A, Ooh, they do have a, it's a very, double pig's ear. Oh, okay. Which is an imperial double at eight point four percent. And how do the people like that? Three, seven, nine. All right. So slightly better. But they're a little drunk. So yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, one friend rated it a 375 John D. Johnny Dybala. Yeah. All right. From Nate's Neck of the Woods. Yeah. Well, from all of them. No. Neck of the Woods. But... We're one big neck. Like a Steve McLean. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you Google uh, soft shell clams, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's gross. <laughs> Unless it's dipped in butter. Mm. Bathing in butter. But, anyways, in Pig's Ear Brown Ale, 4.3% from Woodstock in New, New Hampshire. Hampshire. In New Hampshire. Yes. North Woodstock, I think it's called. Woodstock. Uh, Straight Woodstock. You can stay no, there. North Woodstock. You can stay there, and there's a restaurant, and it's really, really nice place. I think it's a little bit pricey to stay there. But we should bring a family. Oh, we could just go together. Separate beds, though. Rooms. Well. <laughs> So check this one out, check our other items out in our description, and if you haven't subscribed and you like this kind Please of nonsense, subscribe. do that, because we, we do this kind of uh, stuff for you guys, crap, every two days. Yep. So, thank you guys for watching, and we'll be back with another review very soon. Have a great night. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to be.